Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm actually gonna be doing a follow-up video to a video that I uploaded like two weeks ago. It was the five Italian foods that don't exist in Italy. It kind of went viral and I just wanted to make some clarifications and kind of respond to some comments because I think that I should. Literally, there are videos that I put a lot of work into and then there are videos that I just put up because I need to put a video up. And Enrico gave me the idea of talking about Italian American foods that they don't have in Italy. So I only really knew fettuccine alfredo off of the bat and the fact that people don't know that pepperoni pizza is another thing and not piazza la davola i only really had those two things to go off of so i actually googled italian foods that don't exist in italy and there were pages and pages and lists and lists and i just took off another four and another another three that um i thought were good and the problem was since i was making that video so fast i didn't really go in depth in explaining i didn't do a lot of background research and so I think that caused a lot of confusion. Looking back on the video there were two, two mistakes that I made that I can um, address right now. First mistake that I made is when I was talking about salad dressings I completely forgot to put in that Italians use vinegar in, um, in their salad dressing. Vinegar or balsamic vinegar. I don't know why I forgot it. Every time I eat salad here I also use it so yeah sorry they use olive oil, salt, vinegar, and yes, Enrico uses pepper, so I thought that was an Italian thing. That's an Italian salad dressing, not what we know as Italian salad dressing. Second thing that I guess I said wrong was I said that Italian fish to me are a bit raw. Now, I didn't say Italian fish are raw, or I didn't mean to say Italian fish is raw, it's not like sushi, but compared to the fried fish that I'm used to, the fried or grilled fish that I'm used to in America, the boiled fish, it's like when you have beef, you have rare, medium rare, well done, okay, I'm used to eating well done fish, where in Italy it can be like medium rare or rare, and there is such a thing as pesce crudo, and there is raw, actual raw fish in Italian cuisine, and those are the fishes, the fish dishes that I had been exposed to. So my mistake in saying Italian fish is raw, what I wanted to say is, based on my experience from the Italian fish that I've been exposed to, the fish that Italians eat is raw-er in comparison to the fish that we eat in America. In terms of like the five foods that I mentioned, pepperoni pizza, yes, I know that there's a piazza alla davola, alla da diavola, but the thing is that it's not exactly the same. I've seen piazza alla davola with so many different types of um, pepperoni, no, salami. Um, it, they can be big salami, they can be small salami. I've seen it with thick, I've seen it with thin. It's a bit different than the pepperoni pizza that we eat in America. The pepperoni pizza we eat in America is usually very thick. The bread is almost like focaccia, but not really, like halfway between focaccia and thin pizza. And the pepperoni is a pretty standard, or the salami, is a pretty standard size like this. It, there's really not a lot of variation in pepperoni pizza in America. So that pepperoni pizza that we're used to, even if you order Piazza alla, da alla Diavola, it's not going to be exactly what you expected. And in fact, in the video I said, pepperoni pizza exists in Italy, just not in the way you think it does. Then there was the shrimp scampi. My mistake in saying that shrimp scampi is always made with um, spaghetti, actually shrimp scampi is just a way to cook shrimp. And the way that it is, it's like sauteing shrimp with salt and garlic and a lot of spices and usually you can eat it with spaghetti. But it's not the same as spaghetti and gamberi because you can make spaghetti and gamberi is like such a general thing where shrimp scampi is a really specific way to make it that I've never seen done in Italy and I know that if I went to a restaurant and asked for it, they wouldn't know what I'm talking talking about. Third thing, fettuccine alfredo. There's this idea that fettuccine alfredo was um, invented in Italy. Honestly, two years ago when I came to Italy and I first found out that fettuccine alfredo did not exist in Italy, the first thing I did was Google it. And guess what? That Wikipedia page that is now there now talking about fettuccine alfredo was not there two years ago. Two years ago, it it wasn't there in Italian and stuff. I had always had in my mind that Ita fettuccine alfredo wasn't an Italian dish. Let's clarify now, apparently there's one restaurant in Rome where it was originally made that you can go to and get fettuccine alfredo. But I repeat, it's not like a common dish that everybody eats over here. And everybody in the comments was saying, oh yeah, it's just parmigiano and burro. No, fettuccine alfredo has more spices than just butter and parmesan cheese. And fettuccine alfredo, it, it, the consistency of butter and parmesan cheese would be like thick and kind of like 
crumbly, whereas fettuccine alfredo, the sauce is almost a soup. So nope, it's pretty different. It exists in one restaurant, I guess, but no, it doesn't exist in the sense that it's an Italian food that they eat normally in Italy, and any Italian you find on the street is gonna know what you're talking about when you talk about it. Then there was garlic bread. Oh my God, you guys, no, garlic bread doesn't exist in Italy the way that it does in America. Um, garlic bread in America is first of all soft, bruschetta is hard and crunchy, P garlic bread is soft and chewy, and also the garlic bread is more made with like a garlic oil kind of because the bread is like dripping with garlic juice, or not always, but it's very, very moist with garlic juice. Just rubbing a clove of garlic on some hard bruschetta is not gonna make garlic bread. That's not the same thing. And so I just wanted to like point that out. It's not the same. And then I said that Italians don't use garlic as much as I expected. Yes, I stand by that statement. Yes, Italians use garlic, but in Italian American cuisine, garlic is like huge. Apparently in the comments, they say that in the South, garlic is really used. Okay, in the South, garlic is really used. Sorry for saying that Italians don't use garlic as much as I expected in general. So those were the responses that I guess I could give to that video that everybody's like going crazy about. And I'm getting comments every single day saying, oh, all of these foods exist in Italy. I actually said some of those foods do exist in Italy, just not in the way we know them. Then there were some it other Italian foods that people were commenting to me saying that I forgot. And so I wanted to just run down the list kind of and add some Italian foods that don't exist, the Italian foods that aren't exactly Italian to the list. Um, a really common one was meatball, spaghetti and meatballs. The problem with that is I did mention that in a past video that that was like an Italian American invention and I got a lot of people telling me that actually no, it is an Italian invention. Like there, they used to make spaghetti with really small meatballs in Italy. It, it actually sounds like pasta ragu, some kind of ragu sauce that they eat all the time in market. But anyways, tomato sauce with really small meatballs. I guess that was a thing in Italy. So given that it did come from Italy, I didn't want to, to uh, put it in the video because I'd already done that and gotten all this, all these people saying, no Tia, it exists. And then I make the video of like not even mentioning it, mentioning it and I get hundreds and hundreds of comments saying, no Tia, you forgot that pepper, um, spaghetti and meatballs don't exist in Italy. Why do all Americans think spaghetti and meatballs exist in Italy? In my opinion, even Italians don't know what exists and what doesn't exist in, in terms of their food. They've got 20 different regions and the regions all got 20 different types of cuisines. It gets confusing when you talk about food in Italy. Another one that was really noted is chicken parmesan. Yeah, that was weird. That was really weird because chicken parmesan is kind of like this breaded, it's a, like a chicken patty and it has cheese and tomato sauce. And so I grew up knowing that as part of chicken parmesan and chicken parm. And I was so shocked when I came to Italy and, I, and somebody asked me if I wanted some parmigiana and then it was eggplants. Like it was nothing like I was actually expecting. So yeah, chicken parmesan doesn't exist really in, in Italy. Um, another one that people kept saying was macaroni and cheese. Honestly, as an American, I've never thought that macaroni and cheese was Italian. I never thought that. And I don't think most people think that, but in case you do, it's not Italian. Spaghetti bolognese. This is a really popular Italian food, Italian American food that I know I'm pronouncing wrong because I actually never ate it. I never really ate it. And so I don't know, but apparently that doesn't exist in Italy too. So yeah, there you have it for more Italian foods, Italian foods that don't actually Actually exist in Italy. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that nobody got too lost in their feelings because of the last video and I hope this video made some clarifications for those that needed it. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and you want to see more videos like this on my channel and as always I will see you guys in my next one. Mm -hmm.